We want to tell you what we know as we know it. But we just got a report in that there's been some sort of explosion at the World Trade Center in New York City. ABC's Don Daler, who is on the scene. Don, just give me some description again of what, you're, uh, what you can see now. It appears that the, there is more and more fire and smoke enveloping the very top of the building. And as fire crews are descending on this area, it, it, it does not appear that there's any kind of a, an effort up there yet. Now remember, oh my God. Oh my God. Two airplanes have crashed into the World Trade Center in an apparent terrorist attack on our country. That is the courtyard of the Pentagon. The Pentagon is indeed exactly what it's described, uh, just on the other side of the Potomac River um, from the Capitol, and there you see fire. A huge explosion now raining debris on all of us. We better get out of the way! Harry! Get What's out? And I'm just going to add to the chaos and the trauma of the day by saying that a large plane has now crashed about 80 miles southeast of Pittsburgh. Peter, it crashed in an open field. All, that's, all that you really see there is a huge crater. You know survivors, Peter. Oh, my God. The second, the second tower. One has to assume that thousands of lives have been extinguished. This scene on the steps of the Capitol building tonight, just as the sun was going down, was very, very moving. From the mountain to the prairie to the ocean, why we Sit 
teacher, tell me what's my lesson. Look right through me, look right through me. And I find it kind of funny, I find it kind of sad. The dreams in which I'm dying are the best I've ever had. I find it hard to tell you, I find it hard to take. It's a very, very mad world. Mad world. Enlarging your world.